Dinosaurs. Mysterious creatures from another world long gone. When we imagine dinosaurs, we dream of what it could have been to coexist with these majestic beings. To share a world with something beyond the scope of what can be comprehended. With possibilities unbeknownst to that of every being on this planet. Now I want you to take that thought and scrap it. We aren't talking about making parks here, and we sure aren't talking about Dinotopia. These are freaking dinosaurs, and this is Second Extinction. The developers over at Systemic Reaction have touched a genre that seems to have been cornered by the lovely Jurassic franchise, with Jurassic World 2 being the latest edition. Second Extinction throws the image of dinosaurs into a blender, and what we got, let's just say, was a game I wasn't expecting. Oh my god! <laughs> the overall design aspect of these dinosaurs is rigid to its core, with a mesh of gameplay that feels like Doom, Jurassic Park, and Left 4 Dead had a baby. From the eight different raptor variants alone, from armored to spitting, flying, and one of my least favorite, the Electroraptor, there is no shortage of dinos to mow down. To complement this plentiful fodder roster around the map, we have a unique type called the Watcher, who would be more than glad to announce to the world of the closest snack. To add to this, it's not just the mass amount of raptors you'll need to worry about, Although there may be instances where you will find yourself being surrounded on all sides, the muscle of this game is what really spices the combat up. To really show some teeth when exploring the world, there are three types of muscle that the player will encounter. First being the bull, or in its actual name, the Stereocosaurus. The bull comes with two variants, one being your standard. Its armored head makes it difficult to kill while it's charging. Flanking and making use of its soft underside are a quick way to dispatch this foe. Be warned though, as he does have a bigger brother. Although the second variant is not physically larger than its counterpart, this bull sports something else. Armor. The armor makes flanking much more difficult when attempting to kill this bull. When approached, it is best to hit this bull with heavy explosives to chip pieces of the armor off and make the bull an easy takedown. Next on our list of muscle is the flatback, or better known as the Ankylosaurus, or Beyblades from my experience. These dinos are designed to scatter the players apart with heavy armor that cannot be removed on all sides and a heavy tail which it uses to fling itself into the party. The best way to deal with these dinos is to topple them over and get them on their back to get to the soft underbellies for a quick kill. The flatback also comes with two variants. Its second variant is tougher to kill, sporting an armored underside and the ability to cause status effects to any unweary players. Last on our list is none other than the legend itself, the T-Rex. If you thought the other dinos can be a pain, just wait until this reincarnation of John Cena shows itself to ruin your day. The T-Rex is probably the toughest nut to crack. With a weak spot under its neck, it can be fairly difficult to get that crit damage for a faster kill. To go with its large health bar and a tough crit spot comes an arsenal of combo attacks that would make any Mortal Kombat player very proud. Now, to go with all of this variety, the world we are thrust into is grim, with areas of the map that are heavily populated, showing that these dinos mean business. Now let's talk about the map. For a map, we are given what is essentially a warboard, showing conflicts on all fronts, with some areas becoming more overrun with more of a dino presence as our attention is divided elsewhere on the map. As areas lose to the dinos, they will become more deadly. The players will lose respawn points, and if an area is too far gone, it has a chance to spawn some real nasties in the territory. Elsewhere you look on the map, you can find the remnants of previous humans who thought it possible to fight ever-growing hordes of dinos, and the atmosphere adds to a world beginning to be overran by these creatures we thought impossible. On the surface, this game sounds great, but now it's time to move on to some bad and ugly. Although the premise for this game is great, the game feels rough, incomplete, and buggy as hell. The game has a small pool of dinos to fight, making combat turn stale at some point during your expeditions throughout the map. And to go with this, the campaign is extremely short for the scale of everything provided. 
With six different characters you can choose from, I find during some runs that the abilities on the characters don't exactly work as intended. They provide a solid arsenal for the player to pick from, but it feels as though only a handful of them are truly viable as some mechanics for the weapon perks may not work as advertised. And to make matters slightly worse, although this is an early access game and I can understand the bugs and the issues that come with a game in early access, the dev team hasn't been exactly communicating on their development progress with the community at some times. And out of nowhere, with a small update, they have asked players to sign up for a closed beta on the next patch that they are working on just before release. Now, I can see from their perspective the upside of having a select group of players spearhead the launch of this game by testing their 1.0 update, providing a new map and possibly more weapons and other elements that they've added. But I also see it from the player standpoint, and as someone who has personally purchased the game, the hate they are getting for this decision. As of now, although this game has promise, Unfortunately, I will be giving this a 5 out of 10. For now. I will be keeping a close eye on this one. As I have said, it shows some promise. And I think a good step in the right direction would be to add more variety of dinos, an expanded horde mode, larger map, and better, more consistent weapon play. With the launch of their 1.0, I will be revisiting the world of Second Extinction to give the team over at Systemic Reaction a chance to show me what they have in store for us. That's all for now. If you've made it to this part of the video, I'd like to thank you for your time and ask that you like and subscribe for any and all future content. As for now, stay clever out there.